Hi guys, today's project is about chatting application based on LVGL as well as ESP now. As you know, LVGL is a great graphic tool, so you can make something similar to an app on your smartphone with it. Uh, also, ESP now is a very useful wireless communication protocol. If you have seen my previous project based on it, you know what it is. I think all we are so familiar with the chatting app because there are many apps related to it on our smartphone. It's based on sending and receiving messages from devices connected to each other. In this video, I will first explain how LVJ implemented the parts needed for the chatting app and how ESPNOW was implemented in the next video. Uh, let's begin. Uh, the hardware configuration and wiring are totally the same as in the previous project, so please refer to the previous project if you need it. Let's talk about the wireframe of the chat application. Here is the very simple version of the chat UI for LVGL. This app I made has four main parts, top, middle, bottom, keyboard part. Uh, the above is the status label indicating the status. You can display the connection status and the desired string here. In the middle, there is a table and the message is displayed divided left and right. By default, the other person's message is displayed on the left side and my message is displayed on the right side. Uh, the page was inserted before the uh, table was added. The reason is to enable the table to scroll. Think about a typical chat app on your smartphone. Uh, the latest message at the bottom is visible above the keyboard which is taking up half of the screen. Uh, for this, uh, we need to scroll the table to show it. I will explain this part again while looking at the code. Uh, there is a text area below. But this text area is a fake UI for putting the text enter a message. When an event occurs on this a fake text area, the BG keyboard moves to the foreground. Uh, this BG keyboard contains text area and keyboard. This keyboard is connected to this text area, so we'll output it when typing. The real keyboard is created only once, not every time they are called. Uh, whenever you need it, you can save memory by showing and hiding this BG keyboard. This is the simplest version of the chat UI. If I have a chance, I'd like to make more advanced version, but this project focuses on this version. Uh, here is a source code. You can download it from my uh, project GitHub. The link is down below in the description. Uh, to help you understand, I have prepared UI structure on the right side. Uh, it will be very helpful to get it. Parts of both the display and the input device settings were discussed in the previous project. Let's skip that part and start with the part where we draw the screen. The starting point of the UI is always required, using the LV object called SCR to refer to the screen. Uh, from now on, all UI objects to be created are on top of the SCR. Uh, create the BG tab with the SCR object as its parent. A uh, tab becomes the child of the SCR object. Uh, the reason for doing a uh, LV object clean style list is to create a rectangle with a, a rounding corner. Uh, by default, the style is applied. I specified the opacity and color and finally decided the size of the BG tab. The length is the same as the width of the screen and the height is the 30 pixel. Uh, in this time, create a label with the BG tab object as its parent. Uh, the label becomes the child of the BG tab object. Uh, at the UI structure, uh, it's in the order of SCR, BG tab, and the label. Uh, make a BG middle and BG bottom in the same way as above. Uh, the reason for creating the BG keyboard is to insert the text area at the top of the keyboard. Uh, this is common in the mobile apps, but it needs to be implemented separately here. The BG keyboard sets the height of the keyboard plus an additional 40 pixel for adding the text area. The position of the BG keyboard is set by subtracting the height of the BG keyboard from the full screen height to show it down the screen. Uh, it's time to add a page to the BG middle. 
The reason why I add the table on a page rather than directly adding a table first is because of scrolling. As far as I know, there is no way to control the table scrolling. If the page is on the parent node, I can adjust the table of the child node. Setting up the table is simple. I have two columns to distinguish my message from the other person's. Uh, the important thing is to disable the click events so that it does not occur on the table. Uh, by doing so, all events occur on the page, not on the table. Uh, let's see how the BG keyboard is made. Uh, first, create a text area with a height of the 40 that you can actually type. Uh, then make a half size keyboard on the screen and drop the Y axis by 40. Uh, hide this BG keyboard in the background. Uh, bring it to the foreground when you need it. Uh, let's take a look at the callback function of the fake text area. Uh, when a click event occurs, uh, bring the BG keyboard to the foreground. The BG keyboard takes up more than half of the screen, uh, forcing it to reduce the size of the page. Uh, the reason for this is to make easy scrolling for the last message on the table. This function I made is to scroll all the way to the end. First, we need to find the height of the current table and then scroll down to that height on the page. The negative value is going to down and otherwise it's going up. Uh, let's look at the keyboard callback function. When the keyboard disappears, if the input is complete, the height of the page is returned to its original size. I also move the BG keyboard from the foreground to the background. When the apply event occurs, the function called update table which updates the contents to the table is executed. Increase the number of the rows in the table, uh, adjust the size of the column in half, and place the message on the right side for my message and on the left side in other cases. Uh, lastly, update the number of the items and scroll the table to the bottom. Um, this completes the UI part. If you have any questions, please leave it as a comment on this video. Uh, let's see how this source code works. Uh, let's try entering the messages. I can only see my messages because the communication hasn't implemented yet. Uh, I will put in several dummy messages to make sure that scrolling works well. Uh, when the keyboard comes up, it scrolls down to show the messages at the bottom of the table. Uh, it works as well as intended. Uh, let's complete this project in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.